Well, she is known as the angel of death. Already in prison for killing a baby in the 1980s, former nurse Janine Jones is suspected of killing dozens more. Now she is facing a new murder charge. Eyewitness News reporter Karen Grace looks at how Bear County prosecutors are trying to keep Jones in jail for the rest of her life. Jones was sentenced to 99 years in prison for killing a baby girl. Under mandatory release law, Jones was slated to be released next March, but now the DA has discovered new evidence to try her for the murder of another baby. As parents handed over their children in trust, Janine Jones received them in deception fully knowing her monstrous intentions. Known as the angel of death, Jones is already in prison for killing 15-month-old Chelsea McClellan in 1984. Chelsea's sister attended today's press conference. Later that year, a judge sentenced Jones to 60 years in prison for injecting then four-week-old Rolando Santos with a blood thinner known as heparin. Fortunately, Santos survived. Jones's method of choice during this serial killing spree, lethal injections. Now 32 years later, a Bear County grand jury indicted 66-year-old Jones for the 1981 murder of Joshua Sawyer, based on evidence that alleges Jones injected the 11-month-old with a toxic level of Dilantin. Jones was a pediatric intensive care unit nurse and was formerly at the Bear County Hospital. Goss scoured through old records and testimonies. The team's focus was to bring forward the cases that would keep this serial killer behind bars. LaHood believes Jones is suspected of killing up to 60 infants. However, we will work diligently to account for every child whose life was stolen at the hands of Jones. Jones is bond for this latest indictment, $1 million. When LaHood took office in 2015, he approved a task force to investigate Jones and the crimes she committed. He says their ongoing investigation could lead to even more trials for her. Karen Grace, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.